Hi guys, this is CEO Ty from Educationally Speaking Center for Learning. I finally had the chance to talk about why our family is choosing to homeschool um, next year and hopefully uh, for years to come. So the past two years, we've been praying just as a family to had the ability to homeschool our girls and unfortunately it just never worked out we didn't have the finances we didn't have the time but this year our prayers have been answered and um next year we'll be able to homeschool our girls and again like i said prayerfully we'll be able to continue this lifestyle for us it's not something that we're doing because it's popular you know because everybody else is doing it we don't want to jump on that bandwagon as a family we want to make sure that we are intentional about everything that we're doing and and we want to make sure that this is the right season for us to walk out this this homeschool journey because everything we do again and I'm going to keep stressing this is that we're lined up in the will of God my husband and I are both educators and um, I left my job in the public school system um, and my husband is still a teacher in the public school system for me personally as an educator there were some things that I saw as an educator that just ripped my heart into pieces. I would often go into classrooms and see that um, we would always talk about, you know, being for the kids, but I would always walk into classrooms and see kids who struggled to access the curriculum because they weren't on grade level. And even though they weren't on grade level, the expectations that were there for them were just unreal we wanted something better we wanted something greater I didn't want my girls to ever struggle to access the curriculum and they didn't receive the outside help that they needed I've seen too many kids struggle I've seen children in the 12th grade that I've tested and they're operating literally on a second grade level for me that's a, that's an issue that's a problem and i just want again and not just me and i'm speaking on these i'm saying i because i'm doing this video but our family we want something different last year for my daughter was a horrible year um she struggled a lot and not because she wasn't smart they weren't really meeting her needs so she struggled a lot and I would have to go to the school every week to advocate on behalf of my child and I wasn't getting or I wasn't satisfied with the results as a parent and just being an educator um, again uh, I hear all the time in school systems that we're for the children, we're for the children. But to me, being for the child is about meeting that child where they are and about taking their hand and running on this journey with them and about understanding that, you know, you have so many kids in a classroom, but every child is different. At the end of the day, an educator really does want to just teach, but it's hard because of the paperwork. It's hard because of the stress of the testing. And I don't want my children in that environment. We don't want... <laughs> our kids to be lab rats every time you turn around they're tested and they're tested on their ability um, to master a standard that they may have not mastered in the classroom so it's I'm testing in uh, August I'm testing them again in December then we turn around again and test in March and then we test again in April and we test to the test and it's like it's like a never ending cycle so we're teaching to a test and not to that child and again for us we understand our children we understand their giftings and homeschooling our children will give us the ability to just own our time um, with our kids. It'll give us the ability to go at our own pace. So if my child doesn't understand whatever I'm teaching, 
I have that ability to spend a week or two weeks on that skill until my child gets it because I don't want my child, my children to fail at education because that's not what education is supposed to be. So again, it gives us the time to spend together as a family and as a unit. I get to teach my children whatever I want to teach them. I get to choose the curriculum that is best for my children and that meets my children's needs. And I don't have to be committed to one curriculum. If I want to use the Becca curriculum, I can use them. If I want to use Spectrum, I can use them. If I want to pull something off of the internet, I have the uh, autonomy to do that because I am the teacher and again, I know what's best for my child. Um, so it gives us the time. Um, it also gives us the ability to create real world experiences for our children. So if we're learning about Egypt and and we don't have it right now, but if we had the money to fly to Egypt, we can do that and give our child that real world experience. Or if I'm learning about science, you know, about the life cycle of a butterfly, I can tell, take my children to a butterfly farm. Like the possibilities of world world experiences are endless because the classroom is here in my house. So my children don't have to just be subjected to the field trips that the school system gives them, but we can do, you know, or have field trips as a family. So it gives us time to spend as a family and and um, again, it allows me to give my children the real world ex experiences. Um, the third reason why we're homeschooling our children is because it gives us the ability to control the atmosphere that they're in. There are some things that we don't want them exposed to. So if they're here in our house under our care, and they're mixing with the community that we want them to mix with, then they will. we will be able to shepherd them in the way that we were called. We have a sh very strong community um, of believers, and we want to make sure that our children are great citizens, that they're morally sound, and that they're walking out their purpose and in obedience again, like, we, like I'm always stating, in obedience to God's calling over their life. Um, Another reason we want to homeschool is that it gives me the ability to um, allow my kids to operate in their gifts. My oldest daughter is an amazing dancer and my youngest daughter is an amazing gymnast. So it frees up our time and our days to be able to take you know our children to you know gym gym class to gymnastics class and to dance class and for us to be able to offer them um, more classes I can't do that now we can't do that now because the way of our the way our schedule is set up we're literally going from place to place to place to place and our children are in school from 8 a.m. to 4 o'clock and um, by the time they get home it's 530 by the time they do homework and whatever activities like the day is gone and I don't want that. We don't want that for our kids. So um, it gives Mackenzie the ability to go dance wherever she wants to dance at, or if uh, G wants to attend a, a gymnastics camp. Um, it gives her the ability to do so because um, we own our time. And like I said, and just gives me the ability as a mom and as a teacher to love on my kids and teach them the way I want to teach them. So they'll rise to my expectations. And I, because I I know my kids I'll be the best teacher for them um, so a lot of you may be curious about the different avenues for you to take as a homeschool mom um, some moms will say well I can't do that because I don't have the money um, you don't always have have to have the money to homeschool your child there are, um, if you look on Facebook, and I'm a member of a couple of groups on Facebook, but there are so many opportunities for you to homeschool your child, and you don't have to be the one to do it. So at Educationally Speaking, we offer homeschool tutoring, and next year, we're going to move into having people go out into the community and help you homeschool your child, whether that's they're staying with you an entire, staying with your child, I'm sorry, an entire day, or, um, they're just assisting you because you don't understand the curriculum. So um, 
again, there are many avenues. So we're choosing this avenue where it's the hybrid model, where it's two days at the school and then three days at home. Um, some people choose to uh, do what they call unschooling. So they unschool their child. Um, other parents stay home with their children every day and they use that model and they do, you know, homeschool and they do field trips or they feel like they want to teach their child according to their child's gift and um, that's how their child learns or their child may choose the curriculum that they want to learn from and that's what they roll with. Um, a lot of people use um, the Georgia Cyber Academy. So um, I didn't want to do that because again, it's like it's standard based and it's still somebody teaching your child and it's you have to make sure that you master this standard and my children are still taking tests. And at the end of the day, if I want to administer an assessment, um, to my child, I'll do that. If I want them to take the ITBS, I'll do that. If I don't, um, it's not mandatory. At the end of this video, I'm going to include a link uh, for Georgia. I'm going to include a link for you to look at. Um, so there's the rules and regulations of homeschooling. So it's very simple in Georgia. All you have to do is submit notification or an email that you're going to homeschool your child and you do things like make sure that you keep up with attendance. Um, um, just so if anybody ever asked, you know, what you're doing at home, you'll have that um, data on file. And just for me, I would recommend if you're homeschooling your child to keep the attendance, like I said, and just keep a notebook of uh, your child's data from testing that you give, um, as well as just work samples, because you always want to make sure that you have a portfolio so people can see if your child does transition back into public school, so they can see where your child is or what you're doing. Um, so again, there are so many options. You don't have to be rich to homeschool because we're not rich. And, um, we're doing what works for our family and we truly believe that God is going to provide. Um, and at the end of the day, as a family, we have to choose what gives us peace. And if you're watching this today, you have to choose what's best for your family. What's working for Ty isn't going to work for you. The choices that I make aren't the choices that will necessarily be great for your family. But at the end of the day, as a cohesive unit, you have to sit down and say, what do we want as far as education for our children? And what does that look like when we map this thing out? Is it private school? Is it staying in public school? Is it, you know, homeschooling? So again, this is what works for us, you know, for our family. And I don't know, honestly, how long it's going to work. You know, I don't know what the future holds. We're literally going day by day and we're literally trusting God through this process. Um, but we believe that the best is yet to come and we believe that um, we'll be successful in doing this and because we want what's best for our children. We want our children to, to thrive in their gifts. We want our children to thrive in education and we don't want them to ever feel like they're going to school just to be tested. We don't want them to ever feel like they're not enough because they didn't meet a standard and we want them them to be able to do life and do community with people that are like us and when I say like us I mean that are walking this Christian life whether they're black white Hispanic you know Asian I don't care but that they're walking this life just the way we walk it so um, our community keeps us accountable and we want uh, the best for our children um, because it honors who we are as a family. So um, as I wrap up this video, um, I, if you have any questions, just let me know. I will include, again, resources um, under the video and at the end of this video for you. Um, again, do what's best for you and your family. I just want to talk, talk. I just wanted to talk about our experience and how we're going to handle this as the Lewis family. I love you guys. Thank you so much for always supporting Educationally Speaking. And again, if you have any questions, just reach out to me via email, educatespeak at gmail.com, um, and I'll get back with you. I hope that you guys have a winning day. Bye.